हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर मेश्राम कर सुनेत्रा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश जे टी आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज मालेगाव आई वेलकम यू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द बैलेड द बैलेड ऑफ फादर गिलिगन रिटर्न बाय डब्ल्यू बी यट्स This ballad is about an old priest named Father Gilligan. In the first part we have seen that the father was very tired. Half of his flock were dead and he had to perform a priest's duty while passing for all of them. On one such day of tiredness while he was asleep on a chair another man sent for him father gilligan could bear it no longer and cries out of his distress but then he immediately asks forgiveness from the lord for his outburst and he kneels and prays for it he falls asleep in that position he sleeps for a long time and the night comes and goes in the morning he wakes up and he realizes that the whole night has passed here it was dawn sparrows were chirping the moths reappeared and father gilligan stood up with a start the poet has described in very nice words he says upon the time of sparrow chirp when the moths come once more the old priest peter gilligan stood upright on the floor the priest realizes that the whole night has passed and he is worried about the man he thinks that the man might be dead and therefore he immediately gets on a horse and reaches the man's home the poet says Mavron Mavron the man has died while I slept on the chair he roused his horse out of its sleep and rode with little care here peter gilligan rode on his horse and he was worried he thought that the man might have died he wakes up his horse and rides very fast he rides rashly over narrow roads and wet lands and reaches the six man's house and when he reaches the six man's house his wife opens the door and she wonders that father gilligan has come again here the poet says he rode now as he never rode by rocky lane and fen the sick man's wife opened the door father you come again so you may find that the sick man's wife is surprised and she asked the father yes have you come again and the father asked her question in the next stanza the poet says and is the poor man dead he cried he died and our i go the old priest peter gilligan in grief swayed to and fro now here 
the father is upset and therefore when he asks that man's wife how is the man and the lady replies that he is no more now here the father was shocked at the realization that the man who had called him the previous night is dead the wife answers him that he died just an hour ago father gilligan was so distressed to hear that he could not stand steady and he began to sway he just walks to and fro but in the next stanza the poet says that the sick man's wife said to him when you were gone he turned and died as merry as a bird the old priest peter gilligan he nailed him at that word now in this stanza the poet says that the sick man's wife told father gilligan that after he had left her husband died a happy death and when the father hears this story he is surprised and he realizes the mercy of god he knelt in the ground here the lady explained that when the peter gilligan had left the man turned in his bed feeling as light as bird and died peacefully father gilligan realized that some miracle had occurred and therefore he knelt down to thank god here the poet says when you were gone he turned and died as merry as a bird the old priest peter gilligan he knelt him at that word peter gilligan knelt before god he realized that a miracle had occurred and he knelt before god to thank him <clears throat> in the next stanza the poet says he who hath made the night of stars for soul who tire and bleed sent one of his great angels down to help me in my night he who hath made the night of stars here he says that god made the night of stars he made this night to take rest because in this stanza he says for soul who tire and bleed night is made for rest those who are tired those who are exhausted for them god has made night to take rest god realized that his servant peter gilligan who is too much tired exhausted who served him need some rest and therefore he sent his angel down and help the father in his need god sent one of his angels to take the place of father gilligan at the bedside of that dying man and god provided his mercy for peter gilligan and in the last stanza the poet says he who is wrapped in purple robes with planets in his care had pity 
on the least of things asleep upon a chair he who is wrapped in purple robes god is wrapped in purple robes because his king his almighty god his king of kings and therefore he is in purple robes this purple robes symbolize his kingdom god takes pity on every one he takes pity on least creatures also and therefore the poet says that <clears throat> god is a king in purple robes and all the planets are in his dominion he is so merciful that he has pity on each and every creature he has pity on little creatures also just like father gilligan who was asleep upon his chair here god <coughs> sent his angel down to earth to do his job for him so here this poem shows god is merciful he sends help for those who need his help and he sends his angels to help mankind here peter gilligan knelt before god and thanked him